Hi everyone, Blessy B. I want to talk to you today about who the Morrigan is. Mor Morrigan is a Celtic pagan deity and let's get into it. So she's the fate of the warrior. Um, she's the goddess of war, fate and death. She is the consort, consort of the Dagda and the Dagda gave her some lands and it is said that once a year she created new life with the Dagda. She's part of the Tua de Danan. Um, she's also known as a shapeshifter who is accompanied by ravens and crows. Um, it's said to be a bad omen if the Morrigan appears before battle. Um, she's described as very beautiful with dark hair, um, black clothes and she is an ancient deity in Irish folklore. Um, she was in like the first of all she was a deity of in Irish folklore and then became part of Celtic mythology she's also known as the Phantom Queen she's seen as one who can incite war manipulate the outcome of war basically she decides who wins she's a goddess of action banishing and war birth, death, sex and destruction um, seen as possibly the protector of Ireland. Sometimes she's viewed as a triple goddess. And she's also the goddess of birth. The shapes that she can shift into are a hag, a beauty, a crow, a raven, a cow, like a heifer cow and a deer. She's associated with Aries, Pluto, Mabon, Samhain. Uh, New Year's Day and crystals associated with her are red agate and obsidian. She is also associated with black dogs, wolves, ravens and crows like I've said before um, and she's associated with the new moon and iron and steel. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have found out about the Morrigan so far. She's also seen as a goddess who basically chooses you and she has to deem you worthy. Um, if you're not deemed worthy, she will not be interested in you. Um, and seen as a deity where you have to work for her sort of appreciation of you. Um, she's not a deity to take lightly. Um, so yeah. Hope you found this useful. Blessed be. Bye for now. Also, by the way, do you like my drawing of her? This is how I envision her, envision her in my mind when I think of her. I think of her as a deity with dark hair, quite spooky looking, with these crow skulls um, adorned on her and black feathers. Um, and I tried to incorporate that into the design. So yeah, hope you like my artwork too. Blessed be. Bye for now.